channel as you guys can tell from the title of this video today I'm gonna to be sitting down and talking to you guys about all of the uses that I use my notebooks for because I get a lot of questions from you guys on like Instagram and Twitter and in YouTube comments about how I'm able to plan my month how I'm able to you know get everything done that I need to get done and sort of how I do that because a lot of you guys know I do work full-time as well as I post YouTube videos three times a week as well as I attempt to try to be very active on Instagram now when I do run out of time or I feel like I'm not getting the time that I need off or to relax I will kind of go a little bit more lax on Instagram because I feel like that's the one place in my life that I could kind of take a little bit of a break I like to be busy though it's not because I feel like I have some great need to people to make sure that I'm doing everything that I possibly need to do these are things that I thoroughly enjoy doing so bear that in mind with everything that I'm gonna show you guys today but I have a lot of notebooks every time I'm out and I see a cute notebook every time it's like Christmas time or anything like that people generally give me notebooks so I do have quite a few so today I wanted to sit down and kind of go over with you guys all of the different uses that I have for all of my notebooks so if you have a ton of notebooks and you don't really know what to do with them this is the video for you and if you are excited please give this a thumbs up and think about subscribing but yeah let's go ahead and just get started
right, so those are all of the things that I use my notebooks for. Obviously, if you have other notebooks, you have other ideas, you can use it for that. A few other ideas that I've seen floating around are notebooks that are dedicated just to quotes, whether that be book quotes, life quotes, whatever that may be, as well as mood boards and mood journals. I know a lot of people use Pinterest as like mood boards and things like that, but not everybody you know has access to the internet 24 seven. And sometimes people just want like a physical copy of like a mood board or an inspiration board. You can use it for that as well. Another thing that I really like is people doing bucket lists or things that they really want to accomplish in their life or just things like goals, you know, just like I have a goal to do this. And those can be broken up very differently. They can be broken up per day. They can be broken up per the month, per year, per lifetime. I think there's a lot of things that you guys can use for that as well. So there are a ton of things that you can use notebooks for, maybe even new recipes that you want to try, or maybe you keep a notebook in your kitchen that has recipes that you've tried that you really liked. You can use these for a ton of different things. So I really value notebooks. I really enjoy having them. I have an entire collection of them, as you guys can see. I didn't even show every single one of them on here because I have a bunch that I haven't even used yet. So I have a bunch of notebooks, but that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing, but I will see you guys in Friday's video. Bye.